Good morning, and welcome to Boundary Systems webinar series. Today's demonstration, pre-review design check. Today's objective, we're going to have an introduction and an overview of pre review design check. And for the agenda, we'll have a quick introduction to Boundary Systems. We'll follow that up with a review of the Creo View Design Check software, give you a product overview. We'll follow that up with a technical demonstration. And then we'll follow up with ETROS Solutions, Moldex 3D Molding Solutions, Menographics Flow EFD, and a 2D alternative called ZWCAD. A little of our contact information here. If you require further information, you can contact us at our support team for any technical questions at support at boundarysys.com. Any sales questions, we ask you to forward those to sales at boundarysys.com. Let's jump in and take a look at the technical demonstration here. And before we do that, we're going to jump in and take a look at the pricing here. So for the subscription pricing, it's a $740 per user registered user per year. We also have perpetual licensing available at $1,800 per registered user, and that includes a $360 a year annual maintenance that you'll need to take care of annually on that software. There are also op uh, options available for having concurrent licensing. Please contact sales at boundarysys.com for further information regarding this information. automatically maintains the design check history of all review cycles. Reduce nonconformance. With an all digital design check process based around a 3D model, 
you can eliminate traditional non-conformances and inaccuracies of separate 2D drawings. Additionally, designs and review history are automatically controlled and preserved. Improve the process. By leveraging a single 3D master model, you can eliminate separate 2D drawings, which streamlines data management and communications. Eliminate barriers for model-based design adoption. By providing easy access to MBDs for review and markup, you can expand the use of the MBD within your design environment. Some of the features that are involved with the software, and we're going to go ahead and we'll highlight some of these as we go through this, but we'll have the capabilities here to verify the annotated 3D model for critical dimensions and tolerances. Enables methodical sequential working through the model annotations. Graphical 3D design check views. Easy access to combination states from Creo Parametric and capture states from CATIA V5. Completely configurable markup colors and states for your approved rejected states in work processes. We can lock objects to prevent inadvertent changes. Intuitive indication of the check design through colors and notes. Review the marking history to identify who said what and when it was said. Manage the design and check reviews in PTC Windchill. Automatic. set to load at startup and we're going to launch the MCAD solution here. Ready for review. And I've gone through and these parts have already been generated with the MBD process so we'll use this as our set base to begin uh, taking a review of this design check software. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the bar light clamp complete here. And as you can see I get all of my MBD nodes that are in here and on this first stage here. A little uh, messy here but let's take a look at what we have. I'm going to go over here to my tool section and I'm going to turn on the design check functionality. Once I've got the design check functionality you can see as I can highlight the model and any of the notes that are in here. Again, this is on a tab that's set up with everything showing on it, so this is a default all state. So I'm going to go over here, select on my viewables, and you can see over here on the left hand side, we've got a nice little area here that has all of our different combination states that we've created inside of Career Parametric. So I can double click through these. Here's just my model. Here's a map of the different tabs and what's shown in each one of the information tabs here. Some general information on the part that we have. Some of the properties that we have here. Notes. Datum sets that are involved with this part. And then we start detailing our parts in the seven tabs here, MBD7s. Each time as I'm selecting through the tabs, these are using the view orientations that are set inside of the MBD environment or the annotation state environment.
design checkers for this, we notice that we need to add some modifications and some notes to some of these dimensions that are in place currently. So let's start off with the 105 dimension here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select it with the left mouse button. Hold my right mouse button down. Go to my design check. Select tag. And I'm going to select on rejected here. Once I select on rejected, I get a red indicator here over in the tabs. It'll note my design check information that I have here. And I can get some more information to see who's the one that created that later on down the road. If I've passed this on and the next person wants to see who's put that information, I can quickly identify that. So I'm going to go ahead, and with that note, I've rejected it. I want to go ahead and I want to add in a note to it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select with the note still selected. I'm going to add a tag note here. I'm going to tell them in my notes, please add tolerancing per our spec to this dimension. I'll select OK here. And you'll notice that once I do that, I get a little indicator here showing me that I have a note attached to this. I can move it out of the way. So they can see real quickly here what the note is. They double click on this. They can see the information. Please add the tolerancing to the dimension. All right. and it's now highlighted on the model file. All right, so we have this in place next. So we can go on to some of the other tabs here. And we can go ahead and I can select on the model file here and I can say in work to the entire model. Now when I deselect it, you'll see the whole entire model on this tab in my datums tab is now yellow, indicating that I have uh, identify this feature as inside of the datums tab that I'm in. I want to have some more datum sets called out in this feature. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to add in a note here. Put a tag note. I'm going to call this one additional GD and T required. Please evaluate the part in our gd &T advisor. So now we've got a general note in here. We've identified the part and we've told the designer that we want to have the entire part analyzed and reviewed in the gd &T advisor from Career Parametric to take a look and make sure that we've got all the tolerancing and
hit each of the notes on here. Double click on one, you can see here, we have the please add tolerancing note here. I can go to review histories, and the review history information here tells me who's specified the modification, the date that it was created, and the state for that tag. So we've got a complete uh, te text here of showing where this was, a complete history of how this was created, and we can track this down. Once it's completed, we can take those notes, remove those from this model, and it's ready for the manufacturing process. So we'll go ahead and we'll pause here, and we'll stop for some questions and answers. Take a look here and see if we got any questions. Okay, I want to thank you again for your time today. We appreciate you coming in and taking a look at our webinar series on Creo View Design Check. Again, if you have any further questions, you can email us at support at boundarysys.com. And if you have any further information regarding the sale of the product, you can also reach out to our sales team at sales at boundarysys.com. Thank you for your time today and have a great day.